Uh, go into Smashville. Smashville. I don't even know who I'm commentating with. Oh, Proton. Proton, yeah. what's going on, homie? So what do you think about this uh, this matchup right here? Pit and uh, Diddy Kong. I heard Bars doesn't mind you. Really? I hear him complain about this character nonstop. Yeah, so I so I heard uh so I heard wrong. Yeah. I heard wrong. According yeah. to him, Diddy doesn't have to play neutral. So he you know Yeah, Pit Pit isn't fast enough to get to where he needs to be to punish Diddy. He doesn't have enough aerials to contest Diddy in the air, on the ground, still nothing except for dash attack. It's, it's, it seems like it'll be pretty hard for Pit, man. But right now, I mean, it's looking pretty good for Bars. He's calling out, like, a lot of Dill's movement. Okay, not that one. Oh, my gosh. That sucks. And, and, like, that's what he has to do in order to be successful in this matchup. He has to kind of read Dill. He has to kind of uh, know what he's going to do before because he's not going to be able to react. He has nothing that can react right. to what Dill is going to be uh, do. Right, he's got to put a hitbox out where he knows he's got to be out. Oh. Yeah. See, now this is scary because Diddy will kill you faster than uh, Pit will. Well, that's so Bars is going to have to pick his spots a little bit better. Good on Bars getting out of that position. Diddy in the corner with nice. Banana. That was sneaky. Kind of walked up, gave him a little up smash action. Dill wasn't expecting that at all. The hitbox seems to be a little bit big on the, at the top of that. Uh, that up smash. Oh yeah, hits. All three hits go to the pot, I believe. Mm -hmm. Nice. He could have confirmed off that, but uh, he's a little bit scared. Okay, how do you get on the stage? You power shield it down tilt, and then you shield grab. That's how. Hey, back here. I mean, you're gonna look to see uh, Diddy throw, throw out a lot of hitboxes uh, coming down. He's not, he doesn't have to play defense in this uh, matchup at all. He can just continue to be oppressive and really do what he wants. Yeah. Here we go. Back at the edge. Okay. Still try to do a little something fancy. Nothing doing. Oh. Bars are doing a good job, just like not getting hit by anything, even when Dill has the stage control and a banana. Finds his way out of these Absolutely. situations. Now it's important to understand what your opponent is able to kill you with in these moments because they're usually going to fish for those type of things. I mean, great players, you're going to have to read them a little bit better, but normal players, they try and go for their uh, most successful kill options, the things that they know will kill. So if you can stay away from those things, uh, you, you'll be able to tack on some extra percent uh, for those stages of the match. And 49%, I'll take it. Right, that's pretty good. I'll take it from Bars. Um, Dill opted to just stay on this Smashville platform, pluck some bananas real quick. Um, Diddy can do that. Bars going for these be smart up smashes when the platform is moving away, so Dill has no way to punish. Dill going to whip that grab. Now he has to uh, find his way back down, but that's not too hard for Diddy. This is how it makes up his recovery. Stray banana leading into all that. <laughs> Bars tried to space it out so he could pick it up. Ended up getting tripped anyways. Did you put down what he did? Okay. I like it. He understood that Dill was not going to be able to grab with his banana in his hand, so he just sat and chilled. Made Dill make a decision. Did not paint any. Now he has Dill off the stage. This is a great opportunity for him to kill. Good attempt on the course. Match oh. Dill cutting his skirt. Now, until he got hit with that banana, you saw that he wasn't overextending. He was keeping stage control. But, uh... Yeah. Bar swinging a bit too much right now. Again, good evasion of banana. Knowing his roll distance very well. Okay, now Bars, every time that banana seems to be next to him, he wants to pick it up. You might see Dill try and punish that next time he uh, he's standing next to the banana. We're just holding. Ooh. Ah. Uh, uh, no. Yeah. Luckily, all he got out of was a forward throw. Yeah. But I mean, how do you get back on stage now? This is asking me uh, a forward air. Oh. Okay, oh, not yet, yet. I'll take it. Because if he grabbed the ledge, he was probably going to die. Not sure what Dill was going for there. Oh, my God. Oh. The YOLO! Back throw? No, not, not going to do it. Okay. Yeah, by this percentage, he, he won't really get him much other than, say, an up smash. Oh. Nice roll. 
risky, but the reward was great. Reset the neutral, now you have full stage control. Ah, let him down to the ground. Stage control uh, switching. Ooh, Good grab. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, usually it's, usually in now. situations like that, you'll see uh, the person who grabs Diddy trip. He, but he... Uh, Oh. Down smash wow. gonna do From it. From down there, oh my god. It looked like he could have died off the top or the side just now. So the DI was um was iffy. Yeah. He might have DI'd the wrong way. Although when you're down there, how do you know where to DI? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You're also holding it to get towards the stage. If you if at first you don't I didn't even realize he did it twice. <laughs> if at first you don't <laughs> succeed. Do it again. Shouts to AC Menez, down smash, queen. Oh, yeah. Literally patented the down smash. He called Sakurai before uh, Smash 4 came out. Let him know, listen, I need this move in the game. You know? Uh, I need it to be like this. I need this many frames. Make it happen. And he did. He did. Now you can spam down smash. Nonetheless, they are going, where, where is this? Town? Town yeah, and town. city? Bars banning at the reasonable since yes. you want something to avoid the banana. Absolutely. If you don't have a place to land and get away from banana, you're going to get hit by banana a lot. So I like this. Bars understanding, listen, Pit doesn't have too many options coming down to the ground. So let me get some platforms. Okay, I like this. Uh, both ball players not overextending on anything. Options to reset the neutral, but you know Diddy has a lot of low risk options, so you can see him press a, a lot more buttons than Bars will be able to press. Right. Bars, if we've seen though, like when he does get something, he's able to like make the most of the stage. Control. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But especially against Diddy, once you get a little bit of opening, you have to make him pay. Uh, if you get Diddy off the stage enough times, you have to secure a couple of stocks out of that. Otherwise, you'll never be Diddy. Oh, banana. Dying on the balloon. Now, Dill doing a really good job of tacking on percent every time Bars gets off the stage. A lot of this percentage is just Bars trying to fight back into the neutral. Um, Bars had a lot of situations where he had... Uh, advantage where he just kind of gave it back rolling into the edge from the middle of the stage so uh dill is going to capitalize on that a lot right and dill's been like mixing up his when he has to recover high he's been mixing up what he does after the monkey flip uh -huh. he's been like plucking a banana and then forward airing to like mess up with bars his timing he tried to mix up the di just now with a back yeah. throw uh not gonna kill you but... Oh, that was Bar's banana. Yeah, I didn't even know. He walked right up to it. I'm like, why is he not tripping? Yeah, Dill didn't know either, I guess. Okay, nice roll. Nice down smash. They're going to pick up that uh, banana with the nair. Uh, forces him to trip, but he's not able to punish him off of it. Actually gets punished himself trying to overextend it. Okay. Bar's just trying to get back to the middle of the stage. This is tough now. Yeah, he, he has full stage control with banana in hand. It's not an easy task, man. Ooh, a little antsy by Bar's. Yeah. If he just waited there. I mean, I think he wanted to, uh, he rolled back because he didn't want to get tripped by the banana on the way down. Right. And Dill understood that he was going to trip, so that's why he threw out that up smash. He survived another day. Oh, uh, that's going, going to be, yep. Yeah. That was good DI, too. <laughs> I think oh, good nice job. Shit, man. He saw the monkey flip coming, didn't react fast enough to get the punish him. Okay, Bar's trying to read kind of the second and third option of uh, Dill, but Dill is kind of, he's not panicking. He's just staying still, staying in the shield, staying right in front of him, not, not giving him any rolls. And uh, Bar's getting, Bar's is getting punished for him. Back here, gonna put him off stage. This isn't good for Bar's, man. This is where he takes a lot of damage. Just rolling in front of him. Bar's really looking for a high commitment, I guess. Off the Dill, but Dill's not giving many. Yeah, you see, uh, Dill definitely adapted. This is a different game right now. He understands that Bars needs this kill as soon as possible. So he's not really putting himself in any position where Bars can kill him. He's not putting himself on top of Bars. He's not monkey flipping on top of him doing any of that so he can get uh, up smash. 
Okay, forward throw. Not gonna do it. Ooh, nice. I'll take drop it. Drop down. Nice. I'll take it. He hasn't done that all game, so. Uh, could also a character where you kind of forget he has a spike. So I think it's like one frame that he has to get it to, so it's not yeah. even, uh, it's not something that you see very often. Uh, okay, not that. Just time. gonna wait for it. Like, bro, I know you're coming. <laughs> Still real. So we can go to game three. <laughs> you can see the exact moment that Bars realized he fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at Bars. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Bar's laughing it off though. <laughs> I mean, it's like it's his fault that he died. Yeah, that you know, was funny. He, he knows that. He respects the fact that Dill was like just waiting for him to do something dumb. I mean, to be good at this game, you kind of gotta. You you not only have to understand what your opponent is doing wrong, you gotta know what you what you're doing wrong too. So situations like that where uh, your opponent is waiting for you <laughs> on the other side of the banana, and you decide to roll into your opponent after five seconds of the stare down. Messed up, my guy. I mean, Bars was doing that to avoid that situation all of game one, so Dill probably recognized that. And yeah. Just searched behind. it in, yeah. Worked out. You see that from Luigi mains a lot. Luigi mains, they, get, they, they try and get that roll behind to get in after they get walled out, so. Um, we're bringing it back to Smashville. This is where they played game one. Uh, and I'm not mad. If you could take a Diddy to Smashville, take a Diddy to Smashville. Small stage, uh, punish banana pool. Oh my god. What? <laughs> and the thing is, that wasn't even Pit's up smash. Yeah, that was Diddy's That was fair. Diddy's <laughs> fair that was busted like that. Oh my god. There was no reason why that should have connected, but you know, uh, Diddy privilege. You know? There's top tier privilege, and then there's Diddy privilege. <laughs> Keeping it okay, rather even right now. Um, literally. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you try to pick up the banana, but yeah, so. I mean, we laugh, but we've all tripped over banana trying to pick it up at least like 50 times. This is like the third time the percentages were deadlocked at, uh, at 53 just now. Game. Bar's doing a good job uh, adjusting to Diddy's monkey flips. Instead of like, as soon as he sees it coming, throwing out a hitbox, he's waiting because he knows Dill could like throw out the kick before he, like he throws out a hitbox. So this is nice by Bar's. You can see him kind of adapting. He's understanding when Diddy, uh, when Dill wants to monkey flip, which is something big. If you're playing the Diddy, if you could find out their monkey flip habits early, that's definitely uh, one plus. Oh, Nair? Probably a C stick from Bill. Ah, the respect. Scary. Oh, oh my god, yeah. why? Why did he know? <laughs> why did he know? Because that, that was too quick to be a reaction. They, he threw banana as soon as he came out of shield. Or at the same time, simultaneously. So he knew he was coming out of shield at that time. Can you tell this with all this momentum? Oh, oh. no. Probably could have got two or three more <laughs> down tilts to be honest. And that stage is moving over like that, and Diddy has you in uh, down tilt. It's a blender. Okay. Gonna get him off stage. You gotta capitalize. Ooh. A little scared. Well, uh, if you can read that monkey flip, Diddy is not in advantage in that monkey flip. But a lot of people are scared of it, man. I mean, that's a stupid one. I mean, Bar's doing a good job of tacking on percent when Diddy, uh, when Dill is off stage, but he has to secure this kill. There's enough percentage. You've done enough percent. Ooh, just withering away the shield. There you go. Now, these are moments where uh, you see players start to fish for their kill options. Uh, start doing stuff that is unsafe. Let's see uh, what Bars decides to do. Does he keep it safe or does he go for it? Oh, that was very. <laughs> I don't know if that was on purpose, but that was. <laughs> I mean, kind of funny. When you can do whatever you want, he thought of that. He thought of that on the fly. He thought of that on the fly. Let me just throw out this uh, banana hitbox, and then you won't be able to do anything. Catch it. Don't care. Get up tilted and die. Cause Diddy needs an up tilted kill. 
I know we're bagging on Diddy, but Dill played really well. Yeah. You saw that he adapted a lot throughout that match. Bars put up a really good fight. He understood what he needed to do, and then Dill uh, adapted to that. So that's why Dill is moving on. I like it. Rio. I hear Ryu, which yeah, means I Jen hear Jen and, uh, and I, Ralphie. Yeah, that's why. 